Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Soul. Today uh, I'm gonna just we're gonna do a thing on how clean tap water is. So we're gonna test the the tap water here. Now this is in there's a, a water treatment facility. It's attached to uh, a freshwater lake, so we can't get any more ideal than this situation for how clean your tap water is. So I was actually pretty surprised to see what was in it after uh, noticing that my like coffee doesn't taste that great, my eyes are burning all the time when I'm in the shower. So uh, for me, it just ends up burning my eyeballs and that. So I'm like, there's tons of chlorine and all this other stuff, um, fluoride and all this stuff that really shouldn't be in there. I just want H2O coming out of the tap, but that's not a real thing. So let's see how bad it does get. I'm gonna use this uh, water distiller itself, this device here, and uh, it, uh, what it does is it, you put water in it from the tap and uh, or wherever it could be dirty water or it doesn't really matter and um, what it boils the water and then the steam rises steam vapor goes into the chamber here where there's a spiral tubing and then there's a fan in here that uh, goes on with uh, so you plug it in and it turns on and it sucks air in from the side intake all the way around and then blows the hot air through there so it goes through these coils that cool off uh, the tube. So as steam goes through, it cools it off quickly, the water condenses and then collects in this tube, which spills out of this little spigot into a collection point, which looks like uh, one of those carafes for like a coffee. So that's four liters. So this thing uh, does four liters or like one gallon of water uh, per setting. It's about um, one liter per hour-ish. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside so this is, uh, I cleaned it so that it's a fair start. You can see it's stainless steel and there's no, no real deposits or anything in the bottom. So this is our where we're gonna start from. Um, and then tap water, as you can see, is pretty clean, or at least so it appears. So I'm gonna fill it and then I'm gonna burn off one uh, gallon or four liters, uh, four liters of water in this thing and then we're gonna see what is left over and that's what you're drinking or washing yourself with and stuff of that nature uh, or at least i am here so uh might be a bit surprising to see how much or how not clean it is so uh stay tuned okay so we're back here just filled the water up so we got four liters or about a gallon of water in there so i'm uh, just gonna do the old plug in here and then we put the top on. Uh, if you're interested in this sort of um, getting a water distiller, I'll put a link below. But basically it just looks like this thing. So if you find it yourself, uh, I think they're all pretty much the same style, depending on what it goes into. But uh, otherwise they're all pretty much made the same. Um, so I'm just gonna plug this one in in the back. So that's to run the fan. So there's two, two cords, one to uh, make the machine heat the water and then one to run the fan that cools the top part. And then you've got the spigot here. So then we just kind of run this thing underneath like that. It does generate quite a bit of heat. So it almost doubles as um, like a heater. It's about 750 Watts. Uh, it's almost like, uh, I, I use it double for double duty. Cause in the winter here, I, I get clean water out of that. It's just H2O. Uh, so those of you that want are concerned about having really clean water and just water and your coffee will taste better and just everything's better with this cooking the whole bit um which the water filters like those brita water filters and stuff they don't really they don't filter that this is just water at the end of it so um this thing works great um and we just we'll just give it about four hours or so this will fill up and then we'll we'll see what's left behind inside here we go. All right, welcome back. We're um, right now. I'm going to show. I've got my little um, uh, kind of like cappuccino glasses. They're like tempered glass, and um, I'm going to pour what's there's still a little bit left at the bottom, the remainder of the water distiller. So uh, I'm just going to pour what's in there into the cup, and then I'm going to show you what comes out of the tap, and then you can see what happens when you boil down almost four liters or about one gallon of tap water, at least here in Ontario. So I'm just gonna show that I'm pouring it out of tap. 
Put some tap water. Oop. There we go. I'm just going to put that beside the other one. No tricks. And I'm just going to pour out the container. Let's see what that looks like here. So, about even. That's about, I don't know, about a cup, cup of water that's left from four liters. That's, that's what's in drinking water. Municipal tap water. Relative, that's what's remainder. So it's a bit of water, obviously, and then whatever else is in there. And you can see, that's what you're drinking. Well, that's what I'm drinking. I'm not drinking anymore, but I used to. Showering, brushing your teeth, making tea, all that stuff. No wonder my coffee tastes like uh, crappuccino. It's because of the water. So that's why I use a water distiller now. And I don't even use the water filter. It doesn't do enough. Uh, just the um, steam distillation is how I do it. Um, to take out all the stuff and make sure it's only fresh H2O. Because as you can see from tap water, you'd never even know that this was in it. And if I show you the uh, what's left at the bottom. And this is... You can see it's kind of a bit dull and it start I'll do one I'll burn another I'll do another uh, load of water here and we'll do we'll burn off another four liters or one gallon and then you'll see uh, what residual stuff is left over like true residual because some of that still that would all this stuff would have been caked on the bottom so I'll do one proper one and then you can see what the actual substance that's in there and that's tap water Yum. And here we are looking at the water distiller after burning off uh, four liters of water. So that's all the stuff that was left over after, well, it's like one gallon of water. You can see all the, the deposits there. And it I can tell you it smells like pretty sour right now. It's pretty disgusting. So um, that's why I use a water distiller. I don't trust uh, tap water anymore. Anyways. Uh, if you have one of these things or have any questions about it, leave comments below and uh, we'll see you on the next vid.